Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the last video of 2020. Can you believe it? I think I said this in one of my videos recently that 2020 feels like the year that equally has been the shortest and the longest year of my life. Um, but it seems as though December has just completely whizzed past and before we know it, I mean, how many sleeps now until Christmas? So five sleeps, is that right? I feel a bit of a child calling them sleeps still, but you know, Christmas brings out the child in me. Today I wanted to share with you what I thought of Miracle on Fifth Avenue by Sarah Morgan. Let's just take a second to look at this cover. It's glittery, it's beautiful, it's set in Central Park. So this isn't a new book, it was actually released I believe in 2016, so it's been out for a little while. I don't think that makes any difference when it comes to Christmas books. From the first chapter, I was sucked in. This is basically a perfect Christmas cosy romance and what more could you want in the sort of immediate days leading up to Christmas? So the story is set around Lucas and Eva. Lucas is a successful crime writer and he's basically told his family that he is spending some time in Vermont to get away, get his head down and write his latest book. Whereas actually he's kind of hiding away in his penthouse apartment on Fifth Avenue overlooking Central Park. Eva is the other main character and um, she has been tasked by Lucas's grandmother who she knows through the business that she runs to go and set up Lucas's apartment for Christmas, make it festive, put some homemade meals in the freezer um, and obviously when Eva arrives at the apartment thinking it's going to be empty it isn't. So Eva arrives at Lucas's apartment just before a blizzard hits New York. All the bridges and tunnels are shut, there are no flights, they ban driving, basically you get the idea, like this is a proper storm which made me feel so cosy. So basically Eva is forced to stay in Lucas's apartment which I mean must be tough for her, um, it's a penthouse apartment, Lucas of course is hot, they have their ups and downs and generally they are very different people. Lucas is very disillusioned by love um, due to a past relationship, I'm not going to go into it any more than that. Whereas Eva sort of has this fairy tale idea of what love should be and will be for her. Basically Eva is a hopeless romantic and is just really wanting that happily ever after. Now. The one thing I would say about this book that I would change is the length of the chapters. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know I love a short chapter. These were long. I think in the entire book there are only about 19, 20 chapters and it's a decent length book. I mean, we're talking sort of 330 pages, um, but I still really enjoyed it, that hasn't taken away from the score that I'm going to give this book. Another thing that I only thought about after I'd finished is that the majority of this book is set in one place, it's set in Lucas's apartment and normally for me I, I might get a bit bored by that but that definitely didn't happen with this book. It ended just as I had expected but also hoped, which is a bonus. I love a happy ending. This book is guaranteed to get you in the festive mood. So if you're looking for a last minute sort of Christmassy, wanting to really get me in that sort of Christmas spirit, definitely pick this up. I am going to score Miracle on Fifth Avenue by Sarah Morgan 8 out of 10. It's, like I said at the beginning, it's just a sort of it's just a very cosy, festive read and also the fact that it was based in New York sort of added something extra for me. If you saw, I think it was my last book review where part of that story was set in Sweden, I'm really finding myself drawn to books at the moment that are set abroad because we can't travel and we haven't really been able to go too many places this year. I'm kind of doing that through books. Um, so I think, yeah, the fact that this was set in New York and at such a sort of cosy time when there'd been a blizzard and really deep snow, which actually I think New York are having at the moment, um, just added something extra to this book. That was my last book review of 2020 and next up I'm going to be reading a pre-release. So thank you to NetGalia and the publisher for the opportunity to read Shiver by Ali Reynolds, I believe. So this is a thriller. It is out middle of January. So I will have that review for you um, in January before that comes out, I hope. That is my last video of 2020. 
so much and yet so little has happened this year. Merry Christmas if you celebrate. I really hope you enjoy it. I know this year is going to be a little bit different for a lot of us. I hope that you get to rest, relax, recharge, ready for the new year. One thing I was going to say and I'm really interested to know and I'll probably put this um, on a poll on my Instagram. If you're not following me over there I will um, pop where you can find me in the description below. Um, I'm really interested to know what your favourite day of Christmas is. I've been chatting to a few people about this recently. Um, I think mine is actually, and this might be a bit controversial, I think mine is Christmas Eve. Um, I love the anticipation of what's to come, the excitement. Everyone seems to be in a really sort of chirpy, jolly mood. Most people have finished for Christmas. Um, yeah, let me know what your favourite day is and why. I, I also don't want to sign off without saying thank you so much for all your support this year. I never ever thought that I would reach a thousand subscribers. Um, so to do that at the end of October was probably, was like one of the main highs <laughs> of my year. Um, and I'm now firmly on my way to one and a half. So, I mean, who can believe it? Thank you so much to all of you that have subscribed, those of you that watch my videos, um, comment, like, honestly, it means so much and I feel like we're growing this little, little is the word, I feel like we're growing this little community and it's such a sort of kind and caring one which is rare. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it the thumbs up and let me know, like I said, let me know what your favourite day of Christmas is in the comments um, and I will see you back here in January. So I think January the 3rd will probably be my first video back, hopefully. Merry Christmas and here's hoping that 2021 is going to be better. I am hopeful. Come on, it can't get any worse, can it? It's going it's to be a good one. We've got to think positively. Take care. Bye!